Should you be waiting for the cryptocurrency market to crash before you start buying your favorite cryptos? That's what we're gonna be discussing today because as we know, the cryptocurrency market has been on an absolute tear over the last couple of months. Things are going a little bit crazy. So is it the right time, the opportune moment to start buying or should you be waiting until the market crashes? Please do remember that nothing in my videos is financial advice. And as we can see here from the Bitcoin chart, we have been on a parabolic run since November, 2022 all the way up to the highs recently, which is a 180% move. And if, you have been watch and if you had been watching my channel throughout this entire bear market, your bags would actually be already packed right now. But we've been breaking down exactly what I think is gonna happen and I was actually buying throughout this moment in time, re-entering my positions that I closed in these areas. With that said, if you do wanna stay up to date with everything that I'm doing in this market, there's a link to my Patreon down there in the description, which will give you access to my private Discord. Within this private Discord, you get access to all of my trades that I do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, whenever I make these trades. You can see one guy here making 800% gain just today. You also get early access to my videos, my portfolios, and you get access to this group, which is filled with awesome people doing exactly the same thing as you. If you wanna come and join, the link is down there in my description. And if you don't like it within the first three days, you drop me a message, I give you a full refund, no questions asked. With that said, I believe that dollar cost averaging is fundamentally one of the best ways to get involved into crypto. This is a way that you can get involved into cryptos without having to watch the charts every day. There is one caveat. You need to have a long-term outlook and a long-term mindset for this because it doesn't really work in the short term. Yes, you can get lucky, but Throughout history of crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc., simply dollar cost averaging has literally been one of the best ways to return money and a significant amount of money. We are gonna go through the exact numbers in a second. We have my YouTube DCA portfolio that I've been building since May, 2022, right? I started this portfolio to prove that dollar cost averaging was the best way to get involved in crypto. I didn't know the bull market was about to start then. So we have done significantly well, 124%. And bearing in mind, I just opened these positions into well-known cryptos that had big communities behind them. That was it. That was the reason I opened all of these and I was slowly building these positions over time. We have made significant profit here. From around $4,000, we have more than doubled our money just from dollar cost averaging. In today's video, I want to answer with dollar cost averaging, which means averaging your price in. Is it better to be investing weekly or literally every single day, all right? We're gonna be looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, and Polkadot. Just before we jump further into this video, I want to introduce you guys to today's channel sponsor, and they are Zeppli. And a lot of you guys are consistently asking me how in the UK and across Europe, can you get your money in and out of crypto? So Zeppli are an EU regulated, fully legal and compliant cryptocurrency company that can provide you with this on and off ramp for crypto that you may very well be looking for. There are no fees on crypto purchases with Apple Pay, Google Pay, bank cards or wire transfers. And Zeppli simplifies selling crypto and withdrawing funds in euros or GBP. So you can withdraw directly to your bank account. You can buy the top 10 leading cryptos such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, and Solana, and you can access them directly on your mobile phones like an iPhone or an Android. Let's take a quick look to see how easy it is to buy crypto using the Zeppli app. So here on the Zeppli app, you can see the different cryptocurrencies. Here we're gonna buy Ethereum. So we're gonna buy 920 euros worth of Ethereum. You're gonna hit confirm amount. We're gonna wait for that to load. You can see we have different options here, including Apple Pay, but we're going to click on fast checkout and you can see it's that simple. So as you can see, the Zeppli app is designed for easy and secure management of your digital assets. If you want to check them out, there's a link down there in my description and you guys can go and do your research from there. First of all, looking at weekly investments. Bitcoin here, if you had have started at the top of the last bull market, this was the key here. I wanted these numbers to be the top of the bull market. If we look here, it's exactly this region here. I wanted to start here because maybe, just maybe, we're seeing a topping formation happening now, just like we saw back in 2019 before the actual bull run. The best case scenario for someone who wants to DCA is actually that right now we are not 
not actually starting the bull run, we actually get more time to accumulate. From this period of the top of the 2019 bull run to really the real start, there was over one year, 469 days. This was actually an amazing opportunity because Bitcoin's price went all the way up to 13,000 and all the way down to 4,000 or 3,500. So it gave people the opportunity to dollar cost average into Bitcoin, Ethereum, their favorite altcoins, all of that without missing their opportunity here. And I believe that maybe, just maybe, this is a similar thing playing out. We could also come back down to retest this $32,000 mark very easily. With that said, if you started your investments into Bitcoin at the top of the last bull market, today you would sit at 57% profit. This is a weekly buy of $50, an automatic weekly buy of $50, okay? 57% return. Ethereum, 25.6% return. Solana, 146% return. Cardano, 49% return. Polkadot, 4.32% return. These are the biggest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, the, set, the biggest altcoin, and then some other altcoins that are very popular in this market. The same can be applied to really anything that you go out and do your research into. You may not win on all of them, and that's why it's key to have a diverse portfolio, in my opinion. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is simply my opinion. Now, is it better to do this on a weekly time frame or literally every single day so you can get every single mo move of the market? I went out <laughs> and I crunched the numbers, guys. So please smash that like button if you like this sort of in-depth research. First of all, looking at Bitcoin. $10 every single day into Bitcoin since the last peak of the bull run. It would return you 57%. Surprisingly, this is exactly the same return as weekly investing into Bitcoin. If we look now at Ethereum, we can see that this would return you 26% and on the weekly, 25.6. So it's actually better to invest into an altcoin like Ethereum every single day, but very marginally. This is a very marginal gain for a lot more work if you were to do it manually. Now, if we take a look at Solana here, 146%, right? And Solana on the daily, 141. So it's actually been better to weekly invest into Solana than it has been to daily invest into Solana since the last bull run. Having a look at Cardano, we can see the weekly got us 49.17% and the daily got us 49%. You can see here, there's something happening. It's actually marginally different, but basically the same. 4% on DOT for the daily. And finally, we got 4.3% on the weekly. What we've learned from this is weekly or daily, dollar cost averaging is the best way to get involved into crypto unless you perfectly, 100% perfectly time the bottom and manage to sell the top. Now, we can talk a little bit about selling how do we get out of these cryptos? In my opinion, the best way to do that is slowly dollar cost averaging out once we reach peak euphoria. We can see peak euphoria by heading over here, the greed and fear index. Right now we're in greed. We're not yet in euphoria. We can go here on the max. We can see here right around these regions in 2021. We're very close to them now, very close to them now. These are the opportune moments. You can see here around the 70 to 80 region has always been opportune moments to take some profits, all right? We can still have huge pumps at these regions, of course, but taking profits when the market is up has in the past been proven to be a good idea and then reinvesting those profits when the market is fearful. This will only work with a long-term mindset because you may very well miss out on pumps. Just like if you had a sold Solana in that euphoric stage, it went from where I saw sold some of mine at 180 all the way up to 250. Doesn't really matter to me because I was going out and finding other investments. My opinion, Bitcoin, Ethereum, long-term holds. Wait for as long as you possibly can. Don't worry about the money. Only invest money you can afford to lose and have that long-term mindset. Hopefully the data today provided you with some value. If it did, please leave me any question you might have down there in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.